Hey there, this is Michael Becker, and in this next uh, lesson for Tinderbox, uh, part two of Exploding Notes, we're going to start showing you how to use the action feature within Tinderbox, and we're going to keep this pretty simple, so let's just jump right in. So here we have the Tinderbox file that we started with before, and um, let me just go ahead and I'm going to get my Debian think out of the way in the background, and let's go ahead and just work with the notes that we originally had. So the original sample block we had was this set of notes and the original list block we had was this. Now let's do a very simple action. In the process of um, exploding these notes, uh, what we might wanna do is transform them a bit. So for instance, maybe we wanna add them a prototype. So let's go ahead and create two prototypes, one called organizations, and let's go ahead and add in the standard people prototype. Okay, so there's the standard person prototype, and we have one for organizations. And organizations, let's add a type. Uh, we'll create a type string. We'll add that type string to our person prototype. We'll make the person this prototype person. We can use that later for searches, for example. And we'll use this type called org organization. All right, that's just a convention I like to do. So there's always a type associated with the note. So that way in the future, if I change that note's prototype, I still have uh, that metadata of note to be able to work with later. Now, what are we doing here? Why did I just create those prototypes? Well, check it out. Remember, if you remember from, op uh, from the first lesson, we can go to note, expand note, or simply hit option command E to expand those notes. Uh, I in the, since I'm in the list, I'm going to uh, delimit by paragraph, but I want to make sure that the uh, notes elements get the line breaks get deleted, and I want to remove the information from the text. But now I'm going to perform an action. Now I'm going to say when you explode this note, and again, this is action code like any other action code that we explained in the three action code uh, videos that were, were done earlier this week. Uh, and I go ahead and say equals organization. Right? And just to make this a bit more um, uh, dramatic, let's make sure we ch uh, change the color of our organization note. So we're just going to go here and we're going to go uh, and make our organization notes um, a poppy color. Okay, So all of our organization notes are poppy color. So now let's go and uh, expand this and we're going to say prototype equals organizations. All right, and we're going to delete the delimiter and emit the text and explode. And then let's also do it at the same time for people. And we'll say this time organization equals person. Okay, and now we're going to do it slightly different because remember our delimiter now is no longer the paragraph. Our delimiter is now the comma. And so now we're going to explode all of the notes at the comma and we hit explode. Now, what do you think is going to happen? Hopefully, if you paid attention and, and watched the uh, the previous videos, by applying this prototype uh, using our action code, we are now going to have that. And you'll now see that every organization has now uh, the attribute type organization and is also using the attribute organization. And likewise, we have every person note is now a person. So this is a way to de this demonstrates to you how we can use our action code during the explode process to actually start transforming our notes in real time. Uh, and in part three, we're going to take it to the next level.